Hey guys, welcome back to Style Wise, the wise in style. Today we're going to paint a custom t-shirt. So what you're going to need is an iron, an ironing board, freezer paper, which you can get at a grocery store or craft stores, fabric paint, it doesn't matter what particular brand, I'm using Tulip brand today, sponge brushes, and an X-Acto knife. This one just looks a little different, but it's the same thing as an X-Acto knife. So you're going to use that freezer paper and draw your design, whatever it is, on the paper side, not the plastic coated side, but the paper side. And you're just going to lay it on a piece of cardboard, maybe a shoebox like I have here. And you're going to use your razor and cut out your entire design and just try to cut as close to your lines as possible. And you're using a razor because it gives you a really smooth edge for when you iron this on your shirt later on. And if you have um, a piece of the design, like how I have this eight here where there's going to be an inside part that needs to not get painted, like the inside of the eight and the inside of the nines, you need to keep that circle for later on. Do not um, throw those away because you're going to need them for when you iron it down later on. And also keep that outside piece too. I'm going to keep that eight and put it to the side because I'm going to need it to place those inside circles when I iron it down. Same thing with the little pieces of the A, the inside piece of the A I'm keeping also. So there you've basically just made a stencil. So next you're going to take your t-shirt or your tank top or whatever it is and lay it down flat on your ironing board and smooth out any wrinkles and you want to make sure that it's like lined up how you want it to be for your design to be lined up straight. And so you just lay down your stencil on top of it and you're going to iron down and you just have to make sure that you're on the paper side not the plastic side. You want the plastic side down because that iron is going to make it stick to the fabric and as you can see that's what happens it sticks to the fabric so you just check all of your edges and make sure that everything is pressed down firmly and I'd say you keep it on there about 10 seconds hold it and then move on so here's where your little pieces are gonna come in see how I have the inside of that R I don't want paint on the inside of that R I want there to be a space and then same with the circle I'm making sure that it's plastic side down I'm going to use the nine that I cut out to see where exactly that circle goes so that the placement is correct. And then I'm just going to press it down. And the A is like, if there's something that you can tell where it goes, you don't need to use that original stencil to find out where it is. So you're going to take aluminum foil, which I forgot to mention that you need in the beginning. You're going to put it inside the t-shirt and you're going to make sure that it's under the design completely. You don't want any parts of the design where it's not, um, where there's not aluminum foil underneath because that's gonna stop your paint from going through to the other side. So the reason that I do that up and down motion rather than brushing it side to side or anything like that is because the paint will, if you do it enough times side to side, it'll go underneath the paper. So obviously you don't want that. You want your edges nice and smooth and precise. So you just go up and down only. Now with the numbers, I want it sort of a painted look, not such a solid line. So I'm doing it, um, leaving a little bit of white showing through and it'll give a really cool effect in the end. Just go back over everything and make sure you've got all the edges that you wanted to get. And then you're gonna leave it at least, I'd say an hour to dry. You can use a hair dryer if you want it to dry faster and then just test it and make sure if it's dry before you go and start peeling because if it's not, you can really smudge it and mess it up. And then you can just peel off all the pieces of paper.
it might be really stuck on there which is expected because the paint and the ironing have really got it stuck on there but it will peel off and it won't peel off the fabric paint that you've put on the actual fabric so don't worry about that happening And it might be a little stuck to the aluminum foil underneath, just be careful when taking that off so you don't rip any holes in the shirt. And as you can see, you have your custom painted shirt ready to wear. And I hope you enjoyed this edition of StyleWise and you know how to make your own custom painted t-shirt. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and in the future I'll probably do a how to style your hand painted t-shirt so stay tuned for that. Thanks guys. Keep the Y in style. See you next time.